Hey Alpha Shooters, it's Tim from alphashooters.com. With me today, I've got the new Sony RMT P1 BT Bluetooth Remote Control, or Remote Commander, as they call it. Now, I picked this up recently and actually had a little bit of difficulty setting it up, and I had to jump into the online help guide to help me get that going. So I thought I'd do a quick guide to hopefully save you a little bit of pain. Now, before I jump into that guide, I do want to mention that currently, this remote control on May 10th, 2019, is only supported with a Sony a7 III and the Sony a7R III, and it's only supported with version three of the firmware. However, come this summer, there's gonna be a new firmware released, which will enable support with the Sony a9 and the Sony a6400 as well. Um, I've heard it may come out in June, but I don't know if that's true or not. But until that time, this remote is only supported with the Sony a7 III and the Sony a7R III. Right, before I jump into the setup guide, I'm gonna mention a couple of things which are hopefully obvious, but just in case. First of all, please make sure you've got a battery inside of it. It does come included with one. I also make sure the lock switch here is in the down position, otherwise it won't work. Next, what I'm gonna do is, during the setup guide, I'm gonna ask you to hold down the big shutter button here, together with either the minus or the plus, for seven seconds, and that will pair the remote control. But I'll tell you when to do that once we're in the setup guide. Right, so that said, let's jump into the menu, get this guide turned on and paired up, shall we? So simply hit the menu button on the Sony a7 III or the a7R III, and what you want to do is you want to go, of course, to the network settings, move down and then go across to page number two and Bluetooth settings. From here, turn the Bluetooth function to on. Now, before we do the pairing, I want you to go back and go to network three, where you need to turn the Bluetooth remote control also to on. This is a mistake that I first made, is that I turned the Bluetooth function on, I paired the remote, but I failed to turn the remote control option on and was wondering why it didn't work. So I don't want you to make the same mistake. Then simply go back to Bluetooth settings, go to the pairing option. And now this is when you need to hold down the shutter button or and either the minus and the plus button on the remote for seven seconds. So I'm doing that right now. There we go. So it's found the remote. You simply need to hit okay it will pair and it will give you a message to tell you that it's been successfully paired. Simply okay that. And now all being well, you can use the remote control. And I'm back. So I hope now your remote is working with VA7 III. Um, if it's not, then you will get a red flashing light, in which case just go through the steps again and hopefully it will work. Now a couple of important notes to mention. If you want to use this with another camera, you will have to pair it again with that camera. Unfortunately, when you come back to the original camera you've paired it with, again, you will need to repair it. So if you plan on using this with two cameras, it, it may get quite annoying as you're going to need to repair it each time you use it with another camera. Another important um, note to mention is if you're using your mobile to get um, location information, then unfortunately when this remote is enabled, then the Bluetooth link for the location info will not work. So that said, I think I'll just go over the very basics of using this remote just in case you're, you're unsure. So it will work reliably up to around about 18 meters or, or 60 feet. It will also work very well from behind the camera when you're outdoors, unlike the old infrared remote control, which was terrible when you're outdoors. So in that respect, it is a lot better. In terms of the buttons on the remote, you've got the lock switch, which I've already mentioned. You've got the shutter button, which works exactly like the shutter button on the A7 III. If you press it halfway, it will acquire focus, press it all of the way, and it will take the shot. If you're in bulb exposure, then you press it once to open the shutter, you press it again to close the shutter. So on the front, you've also got the minus and the plus, which, if you're in focus mode here on the side, you can use it in manual focus mode to move the focus in and out. Whereas if you've got it on the zoom setting 
and you've got a power zoom attached, then you can use it to zoom in and zoom out. If you don't have a power zoom attached, it will also work with clear image and digital zoom. You've also got two customizable buttons, the AF on and the C1 buttons, which are linked to whatever you have those set up as in your camera. And you also have one more switch on the side, which is a movie and still switch. If you put this into movie mode and you press the shutter button, then it will start recording and a red light will also come on here to let you know that you're recording and you press it again, it will stop recording. So that's pretty much the basics of this remote control, which is the Sony RMT P1 BT. So I hope you found that helpful. If you did, thumbs up would be appreciated. Um, please do check down in the description field where you'll find links to my Sony A7 III, 6400 and A9 accessories guide, as well as to the Facebook groups that I run for Sony Alpha shooters. So until next time, happy shooting.